Hello and welcome back to another edition of the MCR, the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. My name is Mac, with me is TJ, and uh, we are on multiple platforms, BitChute, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, and the one we're pushing most recently is Rumble. And if you want to search us on Rumble, you have to go to MI Conservative Roundtable, all one word. It's here on the screen. And uh, check us out there. Give us a follow and uh, let us know what you think, most importantly. So I want to talk about today. And unfortunately, I don't have I don't have access to this uh, commercial I happen to hear on the radio, TJ. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you a brief rundown of what it was. It starts out and it, uh, it's it talks. It's got a mother and a father and they're talking about the tragic loss of their daughter. Apparently. And, and at the end of the commercial, I, I had to question, is this even true? And you, I think you'll understand why I thought so. So it's got a mom and a dad talking about the tragic loss of, the, of a daughter who took her own life tragically. Uh, apparently, she borrowed the family car without uh, permission, went out, had an accident in the car, abandoned said car, came home, said no words to anyone, uh, got a hold of the uh, accessible firearm and took her own life and the mom and the dad and they're telling up eh, you know you, you can't if you have any kind of compassion especially if you're a parent you you gotta feel bad about this situation but then it happens while they're going through how terrible it is and it, and it is the dad says so the idea that you need a gun in the house for protection is a myth and i thought well there we have it uh, first off, there's I have several problems with this, and uh, well, just tell me what you think so far about a commercial like that, because I think the commercial is anti-gun propaganda, and I don't even know that the story is true now. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely it's definitely uh, perpetrating a, a anti-gun agenda, uh, and and you know what, uh, if they didn't have a gun in the house, their daughter would still be alive. You know, and not necessarily true, by the way. Yeah. Robin Williams ended his own life with a rope or some rags. He didn't have a gun. And we could go down a litany, one of your favorite words, a litany of people who who end their own lives without firearms. Yeah. You just, uh, you know, if it just saves one life, yeah. you know, it needs, you know, well, then well, then don't drive. Don't leave the house. Don't step into the shower. You know, if if saving one life is is all that matters, you know. Oh, and it's not just that you don't step into the shower. I'm not going to step into the shower because I might slip and fall and dive and one life is important. So, you know what, Terry, I'm not I don't think you should be showering either. That's what we're getting at. So but yeah. a, a couple of things come to my mind after I hear this comment about uh, the, the uh, keeping a gun in the house for for uh, protection is a myth. Well, first off. They do protect you in your home. Three million people a year use their firearm for protection successfully. Uh, I guess it's okay if those three million people get killed. Because you know what? If we could just save this young girl's life, who I have to guess is mentally unstable, okay? So, but it brought some questions to my mind. Why would she be so distraught over a car accident? You've had car accident. I've had a car accident. We didn't do such a thing. Why? So what, 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 I have to believe it was a fear of what was going to happen when it became clear that she had the car accident and she had taken the car without permission. That perhaps well, her father or and or her mother's wrath was going to be so great, she would rather not live anymore. Yeah, you know what, if, if you were to, as I like to say, connect the dots, you could make that assumption. Or, you know? uh, the, the, I think this guy, if this is even true is ducking his personal responsibility for having an accessible firearm to a person who I suspect they knew was not mentally right. Well, yeah, in, in, and so so now, you know, they've, they've got this guilty conscience because, I you know, they, they have to come to terms with, oh, my gosh, she'd rather die than face us, you know? And, right. Uh, you know, it's, it's just one of these things where uh, what's wrong with this picture? You know? Well, like I said, once I heard that, it started po questions started popping up to my, to why how this girl would come to this end. But there are several factors. Like I said, is she mentally stable? Is she suffer from depression, anxiety? 
the fear of the father. I, and, and, I, and here's the one thing I'd like to say to the man, if I could. Was your car more important than your daughter? Yeah. And I, I guess I can wrap it up with that. I just wanted to get your thoughts on it. And it, like I said, it's just one of the many, many anti-gun propaganda ads. I mean, because what does a, what does home defense have to do a damn thing with this story? Well, it it just irritates me that uh, you know for them to perpetrate this uh, myth that you're safer in the house with no firearms than you are with firearms. I, that just just well, that alone. The matter is, if I if I want to come to your house and I know you don't have firearms because now they they've taken them from everyone. What do I need? To, what do I need? Two, three guys to come on and, and do whatever I want to you and your wife. I, I mean, we could have baseball bats. You're going to ban baseball bats. We could come in there with our fists and do whatever we want to you under the myth that you could protect yourself. The myth it, is that you're safe without a firearm. That's the myth. Uh, I've actually heard uh, some women because because, you know, I, I watch different podcasts and whatnot and and this topic was actually brought up and I, I i i just had to shake my head when i heard one woman say that she just couldn't come to terms with taking someone's life to the point of she'd sooner put her life on the line than than ha than have to make the decision to take the life of another person who's That's, trying to you do you harm here's the thing that's completely her choice yeah, and that's I wouldn't true. say no. Here, you have to have this gun to protect your own life. If you don't have the value for your own life, then then, then how much can I value your life? It, but it just, I guess, it just blows my mind that she actually thought like that. And you know, well, maybe she maybe she needs a good uh, activity in her home to set her straight. Yeah, you know what? Probably, man, because. I, nothing else makes sense with with that mindset. Well, it's liberalism, it's a mental disorder at its best. So, all right, we'll yep. wrap it up with that. So, as we always say, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>